And when I hear women say to me, well, I, I don't want the kind of man who would expect me to wear makeup. I don't want the kind of man who would expect me to have my hair styled. So what you've done is you've gone from a group of men that you might date. Well, they have to be within 10 years. Okay. They have to earn above a certain amount because that's what I earn. Oh, okay. They have to live with a certain number of miles of where I am. Oh, okay. Oh, they have to be over six foot. Oh, okay. Now they have to be from this little section we've got here, the kind of man that actually does not care whether the woman wears makeup or not. So you've gone, you've got this group here that's got the guys who do care about makeup. You've got this group here about the guys that don't care about makeup, but you're going to slim this group down again, down to here. And so everything you add in, whether you're adding a criteria of things that you want from them in terms of job or their hobbies, you're now also adding in what they're looking for in you. This is getting to the point where I'm wondering, is anyone ever going to meet anyone if it isn't for the guidance of a matchmaker telling you where you're going wrong and making you change? How is anyone meeting anyone? How is it possible that people are getting into a relationship? 